Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys six stock investing strategies to become rich. Now, some of these strategies, I'm sure that you guys have never heard of. So if you're interested at looking at some of these strategies that I'm about to bring you guys, then pull out your pen and paper and make sure that you take notes. Or just go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this. Now, the good thing about these strategies that you probably never heard of is that they're very simple and easy to do, and you guys can start them yourself today. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money, and you guys receive five free stocks valued up to $9,300. With those five free stocks, you could keep them aside the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Moomoo. Moo. Right now, they gave me a special link to where if you sign up using my link in the description, deposit $100, and you receive not only five free stocks, but extra free stock of Lucid, which is valued over $10 right now. So if you guys want some extra free stocks, Moomoo Moo has an awesome promotion running right now. So if you click that link down in the description, sign up, deposit $100, take full advantage of this free money, guys. Do not miss out on this opportunity. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. The first strategy I'm gonna bring you guys is called sector rotation. Now, as you guys can see right now, the technology sector has been taking a big pullback. Pretty much every sector has been taking a big pullback, except for one and maybe a few others. But the one that has been absolutely taking off, the sector that's been killing it the last couple of weeks is oil and gas. Now, I know a lot of people heavily invest into technology companies and they really wasn't investing heavily into oil and gas just a couple of months ago when the oil and gas sector wasn't doing so good but if you was sector rotating investing into technology one month utilities the next month oil and gas the next month um, sector rotating actually eliminates the risk of your portfolio having big swing pullbacks when the market is in a crash because you have your money diversified against all sectors because usually if one sector is doing bad another sector is going to do well and you don't want to have all your money just inside one sector now let me show you guys exactly how to use the strategy one way you can invest into individual companies i'm gonna show you how to do that and then i'm gonna show you guys the way that i use it okay here we are on weeble you want to click on your watch list down at the bottom left and then hit the search button at the top right hit screeners create new screener and right there where it says sector you want to click sector and then you can look at all of the following energy chemicals, minerals, transportation, um, automobiles, retailers, food and beverages. You can look at all the different sectors on here just at a glance. So if you click food and beverages, hit done, 162 different companies comes up. So if you wanna invest into um, the best, your favorite companies inside each sector, you could do it that way. Now the way that I do it is investing into these ETFs right here, XLF, XLV, GLD. All of these ETFs cover the whole entire sector. So XLF, cover the financial sector, we have the health sector, the um, spider gold sector, the energy sector, technology, Bloomberg sector, the industrial sector. Now all of these ETFs right here will cover the entire sector. So you can rotate between each sector as long as they're in an uptrend in order to diversify your sector rotation. All right, guys, the second strategy I'm going to bring you guys is the real asset strategy. You want to invest into assets that are actually physical. For example, these ETFs will cover the real asset sector. This is pretty straightforward and simple. Now we have GLD, which cover gold, VNQ, TIP, cover all of the bonds, SLV, silver, PDBC, um, Invesco, DBO covers um, oil, and then WOOD, of course, cover wood. These are all assets that are physical. You can actually add in some real estate companies into this one as well. So this strategy is investing to all real assets. And over time, it shows that when the SPY have a 30% pullback, invest into real assets like gold and silver, oil and wood, they will only have maybe a 20, 25% pullback. So it has less fluctuation inside the stock market when it shoots up and when it shoots down. Um, you do not have to worry about big swings inside of your portfolio when you're investing into real assets. So that's strategy number two real assets and these are some of the ETFs that are inside 
that can cover the whole spectrum of the uh, real asset market. All right, guys, strategy number three is called the golden butterfly. Let me explain to you exactly what that one is. All right, so the golden butterfly is a high risk portfolio and can be implemented with just five different ETFs. It disposes 40% of the stock market and for 20% on these commodities. Now in the last 30 years, the golden butterfly portfolio attained a 8% compound annual return with, with a 7.18% standard deviation. Now 8% every single year for the last 30 years, you're gonna be well off. You're gonna be more than well off, guys. You're gonna be in a very awesome position. Now, the trick is with these five ETFs, you don't wanna have more than 20% in any of these five different ETFs. So some of these sectors shoot up. And so let's say your portfolio is now 25% heavy to this um, ETF and the other one is only 20%, then you wanna invest into the other uh, ETFs until they're all back equal to 20% each inside of your portfolio. So here are the five ETFs that you will be investing into. Um, ticker symbol IJS, it, it covers the small cap industries inside of the United States. Um, ticker symbol VTI, they cover all the large cap industries. Ticker symbol TLT, all of the US bonds. Um, ticker symbol SHY, it covers all of the short term bonds and took a symbol gld that covers gold so this so this 20 percent 20 percent is uh weighted 40 percent because that's all stocks um 40 percent is in bonds and then the other 20 percent is in commodities all adding up to 100 percent so with these five etfs you will be well off on your way to making eight percent every single year hopefully for the next 30 years as well so this is the golden butterfly strategy all right guys strategy number four is called buy the dip now here's a very simple way of finding uh, companies that are on the dip inside of the stock market once again we're back here on weeble um we're back inside of the the screener and what you want to go down is go down to the rsi and we want to look for stocks that are oversold oversold that means that these companies have had a sell-off and they are on a big major dip so we're looking for oversold on the rsi we're going to hit done and then we're going to look at the view some of these results all right so some of these that are oversold is hrl let's put it in the line graph as you guys can see over the last three months it is definitely oversold one at one time it was up to a price of around $54 and now it's all the way down to $45 so over the last three months it's down over 12% and if we're looking at the RSI indicator once again as you guys can see it's oversold that I means it's at the bottom of the chart so that's how this is how I find good quality stocks that are oversold and that's called buying the dips I do not buy the dips on companies that's going bankrupt I only buy dips on good quality companies so if let's say Home Depot or Walmart had a major dip um, I'm going to go in and buy up those shares because Walmart is not going to wear it anytime soon. So I don't mind buying that company when the price is right. So if Apple keeps pulling back, if Apple become undervalued, I know that Apple is going to eventually recover and I will invest heavily on their dip. The next strategy is called dividend investing. We want to invest into dividends. Once again, we're still on the screener. We're going to look at it by market cap. But once again, dividends right here. If you're looking for good companies with good dividend yields, you could actually put dividend yields right here, custom. So let's say we're looking for companies to have a 1.5% dividend yield all the way up to, I guess, however many dividends that you're looking for. And then you could view results and sort it like that as well. And then you could find these companies with these dividend yields. You could sort it by dividend yield, 1.5% dividend yield all the way down. Now you guys already know dividends is one of my favorite way of passive to earn passive income. I do absolutely nothing at all. And I receive a check inside of my bank account or inside of my portfolio every single month or every single quarter. Um, dividend investing is a, a form of these companies paying back their investor as a way to say thank you to from investing inside the company. So for every one share that you own of a dividend paying company like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, they're gonna pay you a dividend every single quarter. And the last strategy I'm gonna bring you guys is probably the simplest and that is called dollar cost averaging. Now that is us not trying to time the market at all. We're not buying the dips, we're not buying the peaks, we're not buying low, selling high. No matter what, let's just say we set a parameter, every single week we're gonna invest whether the price is high or low, um, $100 into the stock market every Monday, um, $100 inside the stock market once a month. 
hundred dollars in the stock market on the first and fifteenth every month. Um, that's called dollar cost averaging. No matter what the price is, one week the price might be high, the next week the price might be very low. But as studies have shown, if you're not trying to time the stock market and you consistently invest inside the stock market, whether the price is up are down inside of the s p 500 or voo that you're eventually going to beat out some of these professional day traders just from dollar cost averaging in on the market on these good quality um etfs that cover the whole market guys so if you're not time to um make your brain have a brain freeze and look at the stock market every single day and worry about the, is the price high uh is the market going to recover if you just invest consistently into the stock market into companies like into etfs like spy voo vti anything like that then you're going to beat a lot of traders out there that spend their whole life looking at the market just because you're not trying to time the market and you're just dollar cost averaging into the market and i promise you you're going to see your portfolio grow slowly over time but yeah, guys, those are the top six strategies that you use right now in order to become rich. Let me know, have you ever heard? I'm pretty sure you heard of some of these before. Let me know if any of these are new to you down in the comment section. And if you're going to try any of those out, these are pretty safe strategies. No strategy um, I brought to you today is pretty insane. They're saying, hey, you're going to make 30% every single year inside the stock market. No, I'm not saying that is the strategy. The strategy I brought to you guys is either going to bring you six or 8% return every single year you're inside the stock market and if you do that for 30 years you are going to be well off by the time it's time for you to retire guys these are very safe strategies and you can start using these today but yeah guys let me know which one are you going to use down in the comment section if any of these i brought to you were new but before we go don't forget to pick up your free stocks if you want to join the patreon that link will be down in the comment section side of patreon i post every single time i buy and sell stocks we got option trades in there swing trades day trades um technical analysis if you want to be a part of a great community that link is going to be down in the comment section if you guys want to join the discord but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace